Australia is an island continent set in some of the most extensive, pristine and ecologically complex marine environments in the world. Our oceans and waterways provide a multitude of habitats for a breathtaking array of diverse marine life including whales, seals, penguins, sea turtles and dugongs. It is the responsibility of everyone to ensure the continued preservation of this unique marine environment. As a long-standing supporter of the Australian Marine Environment Protection Association, the Australian Maritime Safety Authority is pleased to contribute to the Welcome to Australia Protecting Our Marine Environment DVD. We trust this DVD will assist all seafarers in helping AMSA and NOSMEPA to protect Australia's valuable and unique marine environment and enjoy safe passage while sailing in Australia's waters. On behalf of AMSA and NOSMEPA, I welcome you to Australia. The Australian Maritime Safety Authority, AMSA, coordinates a national pollution prevention and response strategy to protect Australia's marine environment from pollution caused by shipping and related activities. The Australian Marine Environment Protection Association, OSMEPA, aims to raise awareness of the importance of protecting our marine environment. Being an island continent, Australia depends almost exclusively on shipping to move its exports and imports. This reliance on sea lanes and port operations presents a continual risk of pollution to the marine environment. One of the strategies Australia has in place to ensure protection of the marine environment is port state control. Port state control inspections are conducted to ensure that foreign ships visiting Australian ports are seaworthy, do not pose a pollution risk, provide a healthy and safe work environment and comply with relevant international regulations. Faced with the possibility of adverse environmental effects, the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, MARPOL, was adopted by Australia. MARPOL covers oil, noxious liquid substances in bulk, harmful substances in packaged form, sewerage, garbage and air emissions. Under MARPOL, the discharge of garbage into the sea is prohibited. This means all kinds of waste generated during the normal operation of the ship. In some limited circumstances, exceptions apply to discharge of food waste, animal carcasses and cargo residues or cleaning agents that are not harmful to the marine environment. Oily waste and garbage not incinerated on board should be disposed of on shore using port waste reception facilities. Onboard incinerators must comply with all applicable MARPOL regulations. Full details of waste reception facilities in Australian ports are available to ships and agents on the Global Integrated Shipping Information System on the International Maritime Organisation website. The information is also available on the AMSA website. Receipts for use of waste reception facilities should be kept on board and available for inspection with the relevant record book for a period of at least two years from the date of the last entry in the record book. If the port reception facilities are inadequate for receiving your waste, this should be reported to the flag state and the Australian Maritime Safety Authority. With your help, we can improve these facilities for the future. All discharges and incinerations must be recorded in the garbage record book. All ships should have in place a garbage management plan for the crew to follow as required by Annex 5 of MARPOL. Placards notifying the crew and passengers of the garbage disposal requirements must be clearly displayed in galley spaces, the mess deck, wardroom, bridge, main deck and other areas of the ship. All crew should be familiar with the procedures and responsibilities outlined in the garbage management plan. Different types of garbage should be separated and placed in the correct containers, which will also assist in complying with discharge requirements. It is important that storage containers for garbage are located in a sheltered area, covered and tightly secured to ensure that garbage is not washed or blown overboard. MARPOL is given effect in Australia by domestic law, which contains severe penalties for pollution. All ships in Australian waters must follow MARPOL regulations. Ships' engines must comply with applicable MARPOL emission standards. Some types of ships over 400 gross tonnes constructed or which have undergone a major conversion after 1 January 2013 
are required to have an International Energy Efficiency Certificate. All ships over 400 gross tons are required to have a Ship Energy Efficiency Management Plan. Bunker fuel must comply with IMO standards and any bunker fuel purchased in Australia must be from a registered local fuel oil supplier. A list of registered suppliers is available on the AMSA website. Required certification must be available for inspection including bunker delivery notes. Australia has adopted the International Convention on Civil Liability for Bunker Oil Pollution Damage 2001. Ships over 1,000 gross tonnes visiting Australian waters must have the required certificate of insurance. Failure to report pollution incidents in accordance with MARPOL is an offence. The crew should be familiar with procedures in the Shipboard Marine Pollution Emergency Plan. If an oil spill occurs on the ship, all possible actions must be undertaken to minimise pollution. The International Maritime Organisation has designated the Great Barrier Reef and the Torres Strait a particularly sensitive sea area. Australia has applied protective measures to shipping activities, such as a system of pilotage and a ship reporting system in these areas. Australia requires all ships over 70 metres to take pilots through the Torres Strait and the Great Barrier Reef. This is supported by Australian law with significant penalties for non-compliance. MARPOL allows some types of waste to be discharged at sea and a specific distance from the nearest land. Nearest land is generally defined as the territorial sea baseline. On the northeastern coast of Australia, Australia's nearest land boundary extends around the outer edge of the Great Barrier Reef and the Torres Strait. Discharges permitted under MARPOL must be measured seaward of this boundary. This means that discharge of garbage, untreated sewage and oil and chemical tank washings is prohibited within the Great Barrier Reef and the Torres Strait. Most seafarers are aware of the Great Barrier Reef and Torres Strait because of their navigational complexity and status as a particularly sensitive sea area. However, some seafarers may not be aware of the sensitivity of other areas of Australia's marine environment or the importance Australia places on strict enforcement of MARPOL and other environmental regulations. Australia has also adopted the International Convention on the Control of Harmful Anti-Fouling Systems on Ships, which prohibits the use of harmful organotins in anti-fouling paints used on ships. Ships of 400 gross tonnes and above must have an International Anti-Fouling System Certificate. Ships of 24 metres or more in length, but less than 400 gross tonnes, must have a declaration on anti-fouling systems signed by the owner or authorised ship's agent. Vessels entering Australia could unknowingly carry unwanted pests and diseases that can threaten our unique flora and fauna, our aquaculture and agriculture industries, as well as human health. To help prevent the spread of pests and diseases, Australia's biosecurity laws are strict. The primary function of the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry Seaports program is to ensure that all vessels arriving in Australia comply with international health regulations and to ensure that all biosecurity risks posed by vessels are adequately managed. There are several steps ship's masters can take to assist in the process. You should apply for quarantine clearance 12 to 96 hours before entering Australian waters. On arrival in Australia, don't allow any crew or passengers to leave or board the vessel unless a DAF biosecurity officer has given permission to do so. You can assist in the quarantine inspection process by complying with Australia's quarantine laws and correctly completing declarations. Causing harm to the marine environment is unacceptable and with new technology such as satellite imagery and computer modelling to assist with prosecutions, vessels doing the wrong thing in Australian waters will be caught. Crew members as well as the owners of a ship may be prosecuted and face fines and jail sentences and with penalties of up to $17 million for failure to comply with Australian MARPOL legislation and likely detention of a ship under investigation, it's a risk ship owners and crews cannot afford to take. The protection of the marine environment is the responsibility of everyone. We must all be conscious of the pollution threats to our waterways and oceans. 
If you witness a ship polluting or you know your ship is undertaking illegal practices, you can report the matter to the Australian Maritime Safety Authority or the local Port Authority and the incident will be investigated. Reports can be confidential. Australia welcomes good ships. Poor or negligent maintenance practices are not acceptable. Good ships are no accident. They depend upon high quality dedicated crews whose professionalism and training ensures the ships remain safe and so safeguards our precious marine environment. Welcome to Australia.